Well, what a nice looking group. <laughs> good afternoon, you guys look great. I hope you're having a wonderful start to a family weekend. It's a good start? Yes. All right, all right, good, excellent. All right, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Ann Massey, the Dean of the Eisenberg School of Management. On behalf of our faculty and staff, I am truly honored to officially welcome students to the Eisenberg family. Thank you all for joining us today in what I hope will become a memorable Eisenberg tradition, our annual induction ceremony. As you can see, I'm only a small part of the welcoming committee. Before we start our program, I'd like to introduce members of the platform party and our other guests. I will ask each person to stand as I call their name and remain standing. I ask everyone to hold applause until all members are introduced. This is also my way of taking attendance for our faculty and staff. <laughs> Janet Fink, Associate Dean of Undergraduate Programs. Holly Lawrence, Assistant Dean of the Office of Career Success. Colleen Collins, Class of 2020. Eli Sloven, Undergraduate Representative. And we have members of our Undergraduate Student Advisory Council here with us this afternoon, including Megan Connors, Catherine Corrigan, Jacob D'Ambrosio, Brianna Fierre, Malik John Galmon, and Antonio Carbone. I have everybody. We also have a number of school leadership members with us today. Lisa Master Alexis, Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Christine Ellison, Assistant Dean for Development. Melvin Rodriguez, Assistant Dean of Undergraduate Programs. Look at his face because you will see him a lot. <laughs> Bradley Bennett, Accounting Faculty Member and Director of the Dean's Academy. Bob Bowes, Director of Business Communications. Nikunj Kapadia, Chair of the Finance Department. Steve McKelvey, Chair of Sport Management Department. Elizabeth Miller, Chair of the Marketing Department. Tim Mitchell, Associate Chair of the Accounting Department. Atu Shiel, Associate Chair of Hospitality, Tourism, and Management. Bruce Skaggs, Chair of the Management Department, and Sine Solek, Chair of Operations and Information Management. Let's give our faculty, staff, students, and guests a warm round of applause. Thank you, you may be seated. As we considered this afternoon, and we thought about holding an induction ceremony, I thought, you know, what does that mean? What, what would an induction ceremony mean to us? Of course, an induction is about receiving or welcoming someone to an organization or group. Well, if that's all it was, we can all just leave and go have some drinks and snacks. But I think it's more than that. I think it is something slightly different, and I think a bit more exciting definition is warranted. Induction is the action of bringing about or giving rise to something. Let me repeat that. The action of bringing about or giving rise to something. Inductions are about beginnings, the start of something new, not just for students and their families, but also for our faculty and staff. Inductions are about action. Each class, including your class, holds the promise of a successful future. Your induction into Eisenberg today is an action step, the first step on that path towards success. If you go to our website, and I'm sure you've been there at different times, and look at our mission, you'll find a compelling statement, a statement about our business, what does Eisenberg do? What we aim to do in education, research, engagement, and so on. But I'll say to you, like most mission statements, it's pretty clinical, it's pretty technical. So I'm gonna offer you a less clinical statement about our business. 
How's this sound? We are in the business of dreams. Eisenberg is in the business of dreams. My goal and that of our faculty and staff are to help you expand and realize your dreams. That's the business we're in. I just can't put it up on our website. We need more than that. Maybe you want to work on Wall Street. Maybe you want to work for a big four firm. Maybe you want to use analytic models to understand consumers. Maybe you want to study or even work overseas. Maybe you want to start your own business. Maybe you don't know yet what you want to do, and that's quite all right. Your time at Eisenberg and UMass Amherst should be a time of exploration and growth. At Eisenberg, I promise you, we find and create opportunities and experiences both in and out of the classroom that help build your skills and competencies, which in turn build your confidence. Earlier this week, for example, our Berthume Center for Entrepreneurship held a competition that I had the pleasure of attending where students pitched amazing new venture ideas to a panel of industry judges wherein they were competing for prizes to move their initiatives and ideas along. Is this an example of giving rise to something? I think so. Is this an example that will help those students realize their dreams? Definitely so. As you move forward, I promise there will be many moments of success, but there are going to be some failures and some shortcomings. Not every day will be a 10. Your families know this. Everyone up here knows this. Some days may not even hit a three or a four, but that's okay. Learning to handle those days will serve you well, not only here, but in the future. And remember, you don't get anywhere alone, as evidenced by your families that are with us today. Have an attitude of gratitude. Treat everyone with respect. And please, be an ambassador for Eisenberg. Now let me speak just for a moment about the Eisenberg Pledge, which you'll be reciting a little bit later in our program. I think you received this on the way in. It's actually nice, very nicely done. Last year, I charged the Undergraduate Student Advisory Council, USAC, which some members are with us tonight, with creating a student pledge. The pledge reflects, and they, by the way, did a lot of work and wonderful work, the pledge reflects a system of values that Eisenberg students, and frankly, all members of the Eisenberg family, are committed to maintaining. While we don't always get it right, and we do make mistakes, we take our values seriously. This is your pledge. This is your commitment as students and as a member of the Eisenberg family. I hope you agree that these values are what makes it special to be part of this family. Upon graduation, our alumni carry these values out the door and into the organizations they join. Sooner than you know, you will join the ranks of Eisenberg alumni, 48,000 strong. Amazing. Our alumni are influencing and leading change in their organizations and communities. They are our best ambassadors, and they also give of their time to help students like yourselves realize your dreams. In fact, I was in New York City on Wednesday night at an alumni event, and I took questions from the 100 or so alumni in attendance. The first question I got was, how can we help? How can we help the current students? Those are Eisenberg alumni. And in fact, one of those alumni is with us here today. It is my great pleasure to introduce Colleen Collins, Colleen graduated from Eisenberg as a finance major and IT minor in 2020. As a student, she founded Smart Women's Securities, an organization aimed at educating women in financial literacy and empower them to pursue careers 
in the world of finance. Colleen also created an annual conference, Beyond Your Degrees in Finance, to educate students in various career paths and foster networking and community with alumni. Some of you may be aware of this. We ran this a couple weekends ago. It was very successful. I could go on and on about Colleen, but I'll say that while she was here, she did secure two summer internships with Wellington Management Company and is now working full time as a credit research associate at Loomis Sales and Company in Boston. Please give Colleen a warm welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Tough to beat that speech. Um, Dean Massey, thank you for inviting me back to campus. It's so wonderful to be with you all. Um, I'm sure this is a proud and exciting day for all the parents and students uh, to share. Um, and I'm excited to be back here to reflect on my personal and academic experience uh, while a student at Eisenberg. So as Dean Massey said, I graduated in 2020, um, a product of, of a COVID graduate, and I um, currently work in the financial services industry in Boston. Um, I, uh, let's see, so you are attending a world-class academic institution with a very strong and creative academic faculty and will be exposed to a diverse population of student, staff, and collaborators throughout your four-year education at Eisenberg. Eisenberg has national and international recognition for its curriculum and the quality of its graduates in multiple disciplines. And you have a world-class dean who has simply done a remarkable job keeping this institution running since she has arrived, especially over the last few years, co constantly raising the bar and challenging all to ensure Eisenberg attracts, educates, and graduates world-class leaders for the 21st century. Everyone has a story and is from a place, and your commitment and experience here at Eisenberg is for the taking. When stepping on a campus in 2016, I realized quickly how many talented, diverse, and incredibly smart people choose UMass and Eisenberg, and I experienced it from the very beginning of freshman year. You're encouraged to be your authentic self, and it's very welcoming and a broad community of intellectual capital that you have joined. There are serious students available and participating faculty at your ready. And there are so many um, student organizations you can join, and if you can't find one, you can start one and find an amazement how much encouragement you get from faculty and students around you. Um, your experience here and the academic rigorous course of study will prepare you for the current workplace to be a confident contributor and team member in the workplace. Collaboration, adaptability, and technical skills set along with emotional intelligence are core competencies that distinguish Eisenberg students from other graduates. Keep those norms in focus throughout your undergraduate years because companies are looking for those kind of employees to hire. As an undergraduate finance major with an IT minor, I was passionate about asking the question, why are so many young women not pursuing a path in the study of finance? I shared that question with a professor in one of my classes, which led to a rather long discussion. Um, and in the end, that professor, Dr. Milik Imansky Sherman and I said, so what are we gonna do about it? So we started an organization called Smart Room Securities, um, aimed to educate and empower women to choose you know, careers in finance and, and maybe pursue a greater education and, and personal literacy, financial literacy. And this community of women visits firms and sees firsthand the world of finance through networking with companies in New York, Boston, Los Angeles, um, and it creates a community of driven and intelligent women who have created lifelong friendships and business contacts. My degree from Eisenberg has elevated my profile professionally. Firms and recruiters recognize the value of a degree in the, from the Eisenberg School of Management. Professionals understand that students exiting this school all possess the skill sets and ambition to succeed in business. There's a vast and a loyal alumni network, just a mere 48,000, um, around the country. And I can reach out to any alumni at any time for a cup of coffee, for lunch, for career questions, and they're happy to sit down with me, connect me with other friends, you know, slide my resume in if I, if I wanted to apply to a job. Um, they're fiercely loyal and tremendous advocates for all and champions for all uh, graduates from Greater UMass and Eisenberg. Um, I currently work for an asset manager that has hired many Eisenberg students over the decade. Uh, and my firm is one of many that does this because they understand the caliber of student and professional that Eisenberg creates. Ultimately, Eisenberg and UMass Amherst is what you make of it. This, there is uh, every kind of person here for everyone to make meaningful relationships, both personally and professionally. There are abundant resources for students academically and for career progression. While still early on in my career, I can say that I've had the success that I have had as a student and now as a working professional um, due to the faculty, leadership, and student body here in Eisenberg. Um, and so I thank you guys for all being here today. 
And I would like to turn this over to Janet Fink, Associate Dean of Undergraduate Programs and a Professor in Sport Management. So thank you very much. Thank you, Colleen. What a wonderful ambassador you are already for Eisenberg. Thank you very much. I hope all of our students are adjusting well to campus life and enjoying the college life so far. I'm sure you won't believe this, but these four years are going to fly by. You're going to meet lifelong friends, develop new hobbies, discover new talents, learn new things about yourself, and find your path in life. It may seem like four years is a long time, but I encourage you to push yourself towards new experiences early and often. Join a club, talk to people different than you, explore studying abroad, pursue unexplored passions, think about a double major or a minor or both. Take a gen edge class just because it sounds interesting to you, research companies you find interesting, explore Western Massachusetts, attend sports events, the theater, or whatever you find interesting. And, of course, attend classes, read your emails, and study. That may sound a bit overwhelming, but it's not, because Eisenberg provides so many resources for you. We have world-class faculty that are extremely talented and completely committed to excellent teaching. They provide you with experiences in and out of the classroom that will prepare you extremely well in your career. We have a talented and caring group of professional academic advisors who help you with any questions you may have around scheduling, studying abroad, getting a double major, adding a class, whatever you need. They are an incredible resource. Our Office of Career Success, which you will hear about soon, has professional career coaches to help you with all your career development needs. Our business communication department will help you advance your writing, speaking, and presentation skills. Eisenberg staff, Eisenberg also has staff members throughout the school that are committed to providing you with the best undergraduate experience possible. And of course, Eisenberg has many talented students. Some serve as advising peers, student ambassadors, and career peers, but you should consider all of your peers excellent resources for your four-year journey. The people of Eisenberg are caring, kind, and approachable. Take the time to get to know them. They will become lifelong mentors and friends. As Dean Massey noted, you are now part of the Eisenberg family. We will be here for you today, tomorrow, and always. And now I would like to turn things over to our Assistant Dean for the Office of Career Success, Holly Lawrence. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Dean Fink, for the introduction. As Dean Fink said, I'm Holly Lawrence. I'm the Assistant Dean of the Office of Career Success. I'm also an alum of UMass and a parent of an alum who graduated from Eisenberg in 2019. So, families, I've been in your shoes. Students, although most of you don't know me, I'm actually one of your instructors for transitions. Of course, you're taught in small classes led by Eisenberg juniors and seniors. But my colleague from Business Communications, Bob Bowles, and I teach your TAs to teach you. As you've probably noticed, we've put a lot in transitions to help you learn about life at UMass and in Eisenberg. We've also included some career content like resumes and networking, and we'll be doing more of it in the spring. So yes, transitions is a two-semester course. As you've heard from all three of the previous speakers, we want you to explore and to take advantage of what Eisenberg and UMass have to offer. Among other things, one of our goals in transitions is to expose you to opportunities that will help you grow as a young professional. Today, I'd like to tell you a bit more about our definition of growing and becoming a young professional. First, we believe there is no one way to do things to go about earning your degree and eventually landing your first professional job. We view your experience here as a journey, one with myriad opportunities and pathways. We also believe that through exploration, through asking questions and having conversations with people, 
trying things out, and then pursuing whatever interests you, you will have your most successful four years. Let's consider asking questions and having conversations. And I'll start with your transitions TA, as well as the students who served on panels you met with in class earlier this week. Your TAs and those juniors and seniors on the panels are all here to share their experiences with you as a way to help you think about, plan for, and shape your own experiences. You asked them questions, you got some answers, and you can continue to ask them questions because they are ready to help you and because the more information you get, the better. You are also meeting with a career peer this fall and again in the spring. Use that opportunity to learn more about career paths. Ask them what they are studying, who they're interning for, and why they became a career peer. Okay, let's move from conversation to action. As you heard, we have loads of Eisenberg clubs and student organizations. Checking out and joining a student organization like the Marketing Club, Finance Society, or Women in Business are smart, easy ways to get experience. You'll also learn more about an industry, meet employers and alumni, and make lifelong friendships. Some of you will also serve as TAs, including becoming a TA for transitions. If you haven't already, ask your transitions TA why they have taken on this job. Over the years, many have told me they want to give back and help make the transition to college a successful experience for the first years they teach. In fact, students in most Eisenberg TA ships say that. They also say that being a TA improves their leadership, mentoring, and public speaking skills. By the way, before she founded our chapter of Smart Woman Securities, today's alumni speaker, Colin Collins, was a TA for me in our sophomore class, Career and Professional Development, a class all of you will take and some of you will TA for. My point is that we have intentionally set up opportunities for you to learn and grow. We have resources galore. Go to our career and professional development site, iConnect. You'll find bunches of events, jobs and internship posts, how-to guides, and much more. Along with our 20 career peers, we have a dedicated staff of professional career coaches, as Dean Fink said. They're ready to help you prepare for an interview, evaluate a job offer, or better understand the opportunities in your major. I hope you will do what each of us so far has encouraged you to do. As Dean Massey said, whether you feel confident in your major of choice or still deciding, go explore. Learn more, take advantage of this four years to help you think meaningfully, carefully, deeply, and playfully about who you want to become. And now, before turning things over to our student speaker, I want to leave you with one final request. As you do that exploring, I hope you'll keep in mind that you are Eisenberg. This induction is your official welcome in. It's also the start of your participation in the community, in this family. And as a family member, you both take and give. Make your exploration a benefit to yourself, as well as to those sitting beside you right now, and those who will come after you. As you explore and discover, think about what others may need and can learn from you. Share with each other, pull each other up, grow together, and become the best you you can be. Enjoy this time. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Eli Sloven, Junior Marketing and Hospitality and Tourism Management major. Thank you. Transitions, oddly enough, was actually my first in-person class. I went, I was COVID time, and afterwards I immediately went to the school store and bought an Eisenberg hat. I was like, this stuff's awesome. So Transitions is, is really a great course. Thank you so much. Hello, Eisenberg class of 2026. 
My name is Eli Sloven, and I'm a junior marketing and hospitality and tourism management major here in Eisenberg. I'm also on the senior gift committee, and I serve as the in-venue host for UMass hockey and UMass basketball games. So you can often find me speaking in front of a lot of people there as well. In fact, we have our first game tonight. We're very excited. We're taking on the number one team in the country, defending national champs, Denver. With that being said, I can't even begin to express enough gratitude to Dean Massey for having me here. This is truly an honor. I didn't get to have one of these. We started in COVID and I, you know, this is the first one. So it's really, it's a historic night for all of you and it's a historic night for everyone up here as well. With that said, having grown up in Amherst, I have had a very unique experience here. I, I grew up in the town, both my parents went to UMass and you know, I always had the sense of pride because I knew I came from a place with a, a great academic institution in UMass and Eisenberg. But it wasn't until I got here that I truly began to realize that UMass is the best school on the planet. And I'd go around, I'd tell all my friends, I was like, it's the best school, whatever. But then I got here and I was like, wow, the opportunities are endless. And they've all said it, but I'm the student, so I get to confirm it for all of you. You know, there's this cliche line that college is what you make of it. And that can mean a lot of different things. Oftentimes, you know, people are limited by their resources. But through my two, two and a half years here in Eisenberg, despite having to go online for some classes my first year and a little bit my second year, actually still a Zoom class today, I know that anything is possible with an Eisenberg degree. The opportunities that all of you are going to see in your first few months even are, are endless. So with that said, from the welcoming and encouraging faculty and staff to the network of diverse alumni, you really do have everything you need to be successful. But to quote my grandfather who did a lot at UMass, college isn't high school. I found myself in your shoes, I was a few months in, and I was thinking, hey, like, you know, high school, I breezed right through. I knew everything right away. And I went to my grandparents and I sat down. And I was like, Grandpa, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm struggling with school. And he said, Eli, college is in high school. And that's the truth. You have to work hard. But all of you, including the parents, all of you know it's not easy to get a kid through high school and get him into college. So all of you know how to work hard. You got into Eisenberg because you work hard. And that's what you have to do every day. You owe it to yourself every day to work hard. So I could stand up here for hours and talk about the opportunities and the resources that are available to all of you, but we don't have that kind of time. Like I said, we got a game at seven o'clock, so people gotta be on their way. But I got five quick things for the students right off the bat. Number one, don't be afraid of asking for help. Everyone here wants you to succeed because the better you do, the better they do as a school and the better everyone else is, you know, mentally, physically, we're all on our path to success. Just last week, I was pretty sick, I had a fever. I emailed my professor, I said, hey, we got an in-person exam tomorrow, I don't think you want me showing up with a fever. She was more than accommodating and allowed me to make up my exam later in the week. So if people want you to succeed, don't be afraid of asking for help. Number two, and this is the hard one, you gotta get your work done. You gotta find a routine, build a schedule, and stick to it. Wake up every day, brush your teeth, go to class, get your work done, show up, be there. That's how you'll be successful. Number three, believe in yourself. Even when you're struggling, like Dean Massey said, not every day will be a 10. There's a lot of days that might be twos, but that's okay because that's life. You have to understand that there are people around you that believe in you, but if you don't believe in yourself, you're already setting limits there. So you gotta believe that you really can do whatever it is you wanted to do. When I wrote my college essay, I said I wanted to attend a school where I could have an impact on the community and, and try and foster something that was something all of my peers and myself could be proud of and now I'm getting to speak in front of all of you as you're inducted into, again, what I believe to be the best school on the planet. Number four, and this is the last real one, you gotta find something you're passionate about. Join a club, figure something out. You don't have to know what you wanna do for a job, but you gotta figure out what you're passionate about because once you find that thing, life gets a lot better. So with that said, number five is go to games, but that's just me telling you what I'm passionate about, right? 
I love this school. I love Eisenberg. Thank you so much to all of you for being here. This is really a, an exciting time. Thank you to Dean Massey for this opportunity. I hope everyone has a wonderful family weekend and go UMass. Have a good night. Thank you, Eli, and, and all of our speakers tonight. Um, at this point, I'd like to ask all of our students to stand, please. That looks pretty good, all right. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce Jacob D'Ambrosia. Jacob, come on up. Jacob helped create the pledge, the Eisenberg Pledge, with USAC students last year, and it's an honor to have him lead you in reciting the pledge today. I'll let you take over. Thank you, Dean Massey, for the introduction. It's my pleasure today to lead you in the reciting of the Eisenberg Pledge. I will say a sentence and then recite after me. I state your name. No, your name. Oh, your names. <laughs> so here, let's just start over. So say your name after the I. All right. I, your name. I am a member of Eisenberg, UMass Amherst, the state and nation and the world. To contribute to each, I will. To contribute to each, I will. Include others and actively co-create an inviting community. Include others and actively co-create an inviting community. Promote accountability through my own actions. Promote accountability through my own actions. Encourage my classmates on their journeys to self-actualization. Demonstrate integrity and resilience when I encounter challenges. Demonstrate integrity and resilience when I encounter challenges. Grow beyond my comfort zone because Eisenberg has my back. Grow beyond my comfort zone because Eisenberg has my back. Affect positive change. Affect positive change. We pledge to uphold these ideals of inclusion, integrity, and innovation in Eisenberg, UMass Amherst, the state and nation, and the world. Go UMass. Go UMass. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to warn you all, you got your little card. Uh, when we see you in the hallway, we're going to be asking you to pull it out when you're in Eisenberg, okay? So just be war forewarned about that. Um, I, I will share, and Eli probably knows this, Coach Carvel of the hockey team, um, he has a little card that the hockey players carry around in their back pocket that espouse the values that they adhere to in the hockey team. So um, I hope that you do the same. Uh, we're, we think it's very special, and it's very special that you participated today. Um, so let's think about students, as you heard, be curious be engaged, embrace discovery, and I promise you when we all meet again at graduation, which is going to come faster than you think, just be forewarned, four years will go by very quickly, as Dean Fink noted, you're gonna be delighted in the outcomes. You were admitted to Eisenberg because we know you're going to be successful and we are here for you. So congratulations, and I hope you all have a wonderful family weekend. Go forth and enjoy the good weather. Oh, oh and please make your way out, because we have the next group will be coming in. Thank you. <laughs>